Hello everyone! In this video lesson, we will go through a step-by-step -step to enable the PAD controller in the CFW300 drive. The PAD controller application can be used to control a closed-loop process which basically compares the control set point, which is the desired value, with the process variable acting on the motor rotation with the aim of eliminating any difference between these variables. In the CFW300, this function is associated to the built-in PLC called Soft PLC, and for this, it needs a specific programming. First, it's important to remember that this programming can only be used from software version 130 onwards. Now, using a didactic suitcase, we will show the programming of the CFW300 to control the variable pressure at an outlet of a pumping system piping. Considering that the CFW300 drive is with the default configuration and the motor's nameplate data are entered in the drive, we will start to program. It is recommended to follow exactly the steps presented. Accessing P903, where the application that will be executed is defined, we see in this case that the factory default is already one, which is the application PID controller in the soft PLC function. Next, we should set P901 to 1, which will run the soft PLC application. In the next parameter, we will set the action type of the PID controller, which can be direct or reverse. We will use P928 at 1, which is direct action. It means that an increase in motor speed will result in an increase in the process variable in the pressure. It is important to remember that changing the content of parameter P928 from 0 to 1 or 2 with the application running, it will automatically load values for a set of PID-related parameters. This list of parameters can be found in the programming manual. Next, we have to set the minimum and the maximum operating speed. We are setting P133 to 10 Hz and P134 to 60 Hz. From now, we must set the operation mode by accessing P220. For this example, we will keep it at zero, which is the local mode only. Next, P221 at 12, which sets the speed reference to local by the soft PLC. Put parameter P224 at 1, DIX. This means that the run stop command will be through one of the digital inputs. Next, we assign analog input AI1 to the process variable function, that is P231 at 17. In this example, this variable is the pipe pressure. P233 at 0 defines that the analog signal type that the drives receive from the process is from 0 to 10 volts. Also remember that you can have other signals such as 4 to 20 milliamps. In this example, we have two digital inputs. Input the I1 with the run stop function, that is P263 on 1. And the other digital input will be the I2. Notice that when the PID is enabled, P264 receives the content 50, which is the function manual automatic. That is, when the switch is in manual, the speed is controlled by the user, and when it is in automatic, by the PID controller. We must declare the minimum and the maximum values of the process variable connected to the analog input. So, with P922 at 0 as the minimum value, and P923 at 4 as the maximum value, we have a range from 0 to 4 bar. Now let's go to the control set point in automatic mode, P911. In this example, we will consider two bar. Always remember that it must be between the minimum and maximum values. Let's also set P918 to 30 Hz, which will be the speed reference for the drive when the PID is on manual mode. In other words, when digital input 2 is open, 
we will have the 30 hertz speed reference. Next, for this example, we will disable the low and high level alarms of the process variable. To do so, we access P924 and P926 and set the content of both parameters to zero. After programming the drive, we are simulating a pumping system. The analog potentiometer connected to analog input 1 will play the role of our pressure transducer that, in a real case, is installed in the pump's output pipe. We have here four digital inputs where digital input DI1 has been set to run stop and digital input DI2 is set to PID manual automatic. We're not using the other inputs in this example. So let's start the motor via DI1, our run stop input. Initially, we are operating with the PID in manual, that is DI2 open. The speed reference is programmed in P918, which for this example we set to 30Hz. Remember, if necessary, the user can adjust the speed of the motor according to the process. So now imagine a real process, where an increase in motor speed makes the system pressure go up. We can check it in the process variable P916. Here, we are simulating that the potentiometer is our pressure transducer reading the pressure. The desired set point is 2 bar. Then we can switch the PID to automatic mode by closing the I2. As the desired value P911 is equal to the value measured at P916, the motor speed remains the same in P917, where it displays the output value of the PID controller in percentage. If you prefer, you can also monitor the output speed of the motor in Hertz in P002. Assuming now a real process where the pressure measured in the system, which is the process variable, drops from the desired value, observe that an increase in motor speed takes place. This increase in motor speed causes an increase in the system pressure. The pressure is increased until we get the desired value equal to the measured one. Once again. If the opposite condition occurs, in which the measured pressure exceeds the desired value, the drive will slow down the motor. This speed decrease will bring about a pressure reduction until we get the desired value equal to the process variable value. In our demonstration, we kept the drive default adjusted gains, but it is important to highlight that adjusting the PID gains is a process that requires some attempts to achieve the desired response time. In the drive programming manual, there is a chapter related to the PID where values of gains for more types of variables are suggested. This was the control connection made in our example where we use DI1 as run stop and DI2 as manual automatic. Our pressure transducer was simulated by the analog potentiometer connected to analog input AI1. And here is the step-by-step -step programming performed in the example, with the parameter, description and content used in each parameter. For more information about this function or other VAG drives information, please refer to the manuals available in our website and follow our YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you next time!